All right, so now we're back home. So we actually did more missions, right? So um, doesn't matter how you do them. Hauling is a really good way. Like just doing those uh, delivery missions we were doing in the last episode. It's about 4.24 called already. We could have uh, definitely stayed there for like four more hours and just kept hauling. Then we could have gotten the level five and then we would have gotten the level four missions. Although we should probably do something else for a bit because there's more than hauling to the game, right? So how did we get back home? You could always find your home on the left side. You just go to personal assets and then uh, wherever all of your stuff is, that's your home. So then you set destination and then we just uh, flew back home. So now we're going to do some combat. So our ship, we just had the cargo expanded holds and then just the inertial stabilizers it's pretty much all that we have just so even if you do lose it you lose like a 1 million isk which is actually nothing now if you've been uh, running missions so we're going to change these ships so actually you could uh, go check all of your ships inventory so we've seen the heron i didn't actually uh put the stuff inside the item hanger so we had more things there and they had uh, ammunition in the camera we'll probably leave that not sure why the drone bay was open. Not sure why that drone bay was open. So now we actually had uh, 19 million worth of loot. So we had uh, more loot than we thought. And then if you were to go to all of your ores and if you were to reprocess them, you could see the sales tax would have been much higher, but we have uh, such a high reputation with the Science and Trade Institute, right? Our standings are, uh, are 4.63. Except uh, we're still terrible at reprocessing. We need to learn industry at some point because this uh, should not be 50%. I think it should be a lot higher. Because if we reprocess these, we lose 1 million of value. Although we could transport transport it easier, right? It turns uh, 20, 29,000, yeah, 29,000, 29,000 inventory space. Then it uh, breaks it down to 4,000 inventory space. So it is a lot easier to transport. If you wanted to bring this home to transport to a station or something, you don't want to transport the rocks by themselves. You just want to break these down. But uh, we're just going to leave them in rock form until we learn reprocessing so that we uh, get more out of them. Um, so maybe we're just going to do level 1 missions because after you finish your career and advanced, uh, advanced uh, combat, they gave you this ship, right? We pretty much just uh, equipped this ship and then we never used it because we just started doing delivery missions. So now let's start doing some uh, combat mission. I invited you to a conversation, accept invitation. Not sure, people always, huh, before club hub. So minimize the chat window. Welcome to the fourth club hub to apply direct application in fourth code, mining, industry, infrastructure, PI, protection. Not too sure we don't really need a conversation or a corporation at the moment. So then we have our ship here. We fitted it last time. Then I believe uh, inside the ship's inventory. Oh, okay, up here. Yes, we had uh, iron charges for long range combat. And we had antimatter charges for close range combat. And then uh, we finally just trained the light missile one so we could actually use the missile launcher. So maybe we'll just do a mission in this ship just to show it is completely capable of level 1 security missions. However, level 2 security missions, uh, you won't be able to do those. So uh, we tried doing them on a different, on our other character, on our other low level character, the Sky Dragon, the one that uh, we did the story type series of to episode 6. So maybe we'll continue the story, it was pretty silly. You know, he just got into the ship and then he was doing security missions. And then uh, after that, we tried to do a level two mission. And then it was like, um, sorry, the ships are too strong. Oh, that's right. We tried to attack a ship in the level two missions with this ship. And we were not doing any damage at all to it. So <laughs> it was silly. So level two missions, I guess, uh, don't do them in this ship. But if we were going to mission agents, right? We just clicked on the agency on the left here. And then uh, we could go to the home. So if you were here, it'd be agents and missions. It'd be, oh, new storyline agents. What's this special mission that greatly? Oh, because we have uh, those two storyline missions we can't do because they're level three combat missions. 
So we could maybe do them tomorrow if we still have them. But for the mission agents, we've been doing, uh, we've been showing distribution agents how to fly between stations, and that works pretty good. So if you're ever just want to be AFK or don't want to focus on combat or you don't want to mine because you're terrible at mining right now, then maybe you'd want to do security and actually do some combat. So this is when you actually want to play the game and want to blow up ships. So we're just going to run everything for the Caldari Navy just because um, those guys are the first guys we want reputation for. So let's do a level 1 security mission. So there's one uh, two jumps away so we can set the destination here. And then uh, we could go jump through the gate and fly over there. And then I think for the second part of the video, we're probably going to do some level 2 missions in a new ship we could buy. So just as long as you have maybe like 10 million ISK, so however you were getting it, doesn't really matter. Or we could even uh, bring all of our stuff there, right? We had a whole lot of money back there. So actually, yeah, maybe we should also make this a trip to uh, bring a bunch of stuff to sell or something. Ship stopped. <clears throat> so let's uh, dock at the station. Let's dock at our home station. So if you go to personal assets, you go to your home station and then you go dock at the station, set the destination. So let's uh, go back to the station then. Maybe we'll bring some stuff to the trade hub and hopefully try to sell it. All right. Now we're back at the station, so we're just going to go to the inventory, go to the station hangar, the item hangar here, uh, see if there's anything really that we want to bring. So maybe we want to bring the blueprints and do some invention over there. We could just bring everything over there so it's over there, as long as nobody uh, destroys us before we get there. <laughs> if anybody tries to kill you or something. So we carry these things, because these are uh, augmentations. You got them from uh, doing storyline missions, I believe. Uh, these ones you probably just got from the regular thing. It's not worth anything, right? 22,000, 19,000. Although this one is worth like 5 million. This one's worth like 750K. This one's worth like 4 million. And uh, they don't take up any space, right? They just take up the one space. So we can drag those to our ship hangar. Maybe drag these to our ship hangar. So maybe we just wanna everything except for the ores or something. Just wanna leave anything here. I mean, uh, everything's not gonna be worth anything, right? 126,000. Because do we need to leave anything at the starting hub? Probably not. So how much, uh, so let's just try to bring a whole bunch of things then. Let's just bring as much as we can. How much uh, cargo space do we have? 307. So maybe we could find some other things. I think the warp drives, or we took the warp drives already. So we don't want to take the minerals, those are going to be way too heavy. So maybe we do want to missiles, scorch missiles, light missiles, um, and maybe just some blueprints or something. Maybe just uh, bring all of the blueprints. Then we could just uh, do invention and construction at a better facility that might have a uh, faster construction time and faster research time and then we could even uh, research some of these things so we still have five million there we still we don't really have any room in the ship anyways we might as well bring the core probe scanners maybe we could use those to scan down something it's just pretty much uh filling up your ship with random things you might uh sell later are things you might uh, use to equip one of your ships. Oh, not enough cargo space. So let's just take uh, the relic analyzer out or something. We don't need to bring civilian relic analyzer. So consider now you're flying around with like 13.6 million plus uh, your blueprints that you got and the missiles, I think. Uh, yeah, we already collected the industry. So if you had any jobs running, maybe uh, deliver the jobs then uh, try to bring everything because we're leaving our home station. We're going probably to a more better station. So if we just open up the map. Then if we just search, then if we just search for Jitta, it's just like J-I-T-A, right? J-I-T-A should come up. Here we go, Jitta, then you uh, just uh, set your destination. So now we're flying towards there. 
And we could just uh, undock, maybe. And we could just leave all of our other ships here. Because <clears throat> we could use the hauler to bring all of our minerals, but then we're only transferring like 3 million or something. So we'll jump through the Stargate, the regional okay. market. I think we're just looking for the I Choose You trade hub, basically. Wherever that would be. I Choose You market. Oh, well, four jumps away. You could even see it from here. Cool. It's the one we're basically looking for. The location set destination. Because uh, you don't actually want to go to Jeddah specifically. You might lose your ship there. <laughs> I think this one's a lot safer. It's definitely a better uh, starting trading hub. Yeah, definitely one of the better ones. It should be pretty safe. I think I was using this like a year ago when I was uh, playing on my other account. He has a whole lot more skills. And I think there's other characters on there too. But then, on that character, right, once you get too far into the game, and then if you just uh, focus on all the numbers, and how to uh, get the most ISK per hour, and then you're just trying to figure out what's the best thing to manufacture, then you start looking at the spreadsheets, and then uh, you stop playing the game, and then you leave the game. So don't uh, do that. <laughs> don't do that, no. Actually, play the game. So we're just going to be flying to the I Choose You trade hub. And then we're docking there, right? That's all we did. So we basically just searched for expanded. And then we clicked on the expanded cargo hold. And then we tried to see if there's anything nearby. And then luckily we were able to set our destination here. So we could just go dock at that station. And then we could uh, figure out what we're doing from there. So Maybe let's do this too. Maybe let's say the system is so bad, seeky, right? So I could just say, go to bed. Well, let's just start uh, warping to the place first. And it'll give you probably a better way to find this place. If it still exists, right? Um, it's It's been there for over a year. We do know that, but it could be blown up at some point. But then I guess everything else, we haven't been here, we don't know how many, maybe stations have uh, re-popped up, or maybe stations have been destroyed, and maybe new stations have uh, come up in their place. So if we go to the map, we just wanted to search up uh, that constellation. So it's just a S-O-B-E-S-K-I, search, no results found, so that's not the system name. <laughs> Is this is SOB. Oh, I put a A. I put an E instead of an I. All right. Well, let's go dock at the station for now. Then we could uh, look at that later. I mean, we could look at it when we dock at the station. So this station is actually a player-owned station. So a uh, player actually owns this station. It's not actually owned by the game. It's not just a random game in there, a random station in the out in space. Actually, somebody created this. Yeah, because uh, you actually build these with all the materials that you mine, and then people build these stations, and then they anchor them out in space, and then uh, other people can fly to their stations, and then they can uh, use all their trading facilities. And then all usually nearby, there's also a whole bunch of 0.1% uh, refinery, a whole bunch of things for doing industry. So, actually, in the I Choose You trade market, you could do all of your industry and all of your invention here. So we arrived at the place. Oh cool, we got here safely. So we could just go to the inventory. Uh, we don't really have anything here, right? Maybe we could sell it or something. We should just uh, select all, just uh, empty the inventory item hanger. So you could bring them to the main trade hub at Jitta. It's just uh, one jump away, right? Or the regional market well did uh, show up on here oh, i choose you because i think yeah i think it doesn't i don't think it does i think i remember that this is uh, not in the same solar system as jitta although if you click on the map and you type in jitta from here it would be one jump away right location set destination route one jump so this place, it's in a different region, so you can't actually see what's being sold in the main trading hub over there from here. 
but you can do one little warp over there and then you could access the training hub then you could uh, come over here and do everything in this station it's a lot safer right because over here people probably watch for haulers leaving the place although I do remember I was sitting there for like one whole day on one of my ships and I was just watching people leave the training hub and I don't actually think I've seen a single ship get blown up this may be all the scary stuff about ships being destroyed over there. It's just all false news or something. So maybe it is safe here. So let's see if we can find out what uh, this system is. So no, it is nearby Jeddah, right? Jeddah is just one drop away. S-O-B-A-S-K-I. Oh, so here's the system, right? You can see it right there. Oh, and then it does show up. All right. So here's the system where the I choose you trademark it is. So it'd definitely be a really good uh, first place to go to. I think it might be, I think it was a bit harder to buy and sell things on here though, right? Cause here's where I set up my industry on my first character. And then we just uh, did a whole bunch of jobs in the factories nearby and a whole bunch of invention in the factories nearby. And I think we tried to sell things on here and then they sold, they sold, but I think they sold faster when we finally actually delivered them to the main trading hub things could have changed though for now maybe we just need the ammunition so the antimatter charges the iron charges and some uh, missiles so i think we're supposed to be doing a mission i think we just uh, left the trading hub so we're using uh inferno missiles so we could throw those in our ship's hangar so now our ship just has the ammunition and the missiles so let's go do some uh, level one missions and then considering the video is probably pretty long we'll do some level two missions next episode or something all right so we found some agents nearby so basically i guess uh, if you don't remember the fit or if you didn't watch the earlier videos all we had is a basic 125 millimeter rail gun so i think if we could show the info right uh, 125 millimeter rail guns, just the basic ones. You view market details. They're not too expensive. They're just like uh, 20,000. So we got uh, seven of them. Seven of them on here. Plus the light missile launcher. Light missile launcher is pretty cheap too. You just need the missile launcher operation two to use it, and then light missiles one. Since probably oh like 10,000, so it's really cheap. And then just the basic ammo, right? We have some in our hold too, just so we can refill. Antimatter charge S, and then iron charge S. Then Inferno light missile, we're just using those. And then the small shield booster one. Civilian kinetic deflection shield. And then the civilian afterburner. So don't we have a regular afterburner? We could probably upgrade that. Yeah, we do have a 1MN, so it should be better than that one. As long as we can equip it, 1MN. Yeah, there we go. And then just the override injector systems just to increase our movement speed even more. So now we're ready to go. So we'll do some level 1 missions and then we'll probably do some level 2 missions. So everything in this station is going to stay in this station. So actually when we check our personal assets when we undock, we're going to see there's two different stations with things that we have. Right, so we undocked here and then actually you'll see a tether come up to your vehicle there should be a tether hmm. basically the tether comes up and then your ship cannot be attacked so you're actually 100% safe on the station unless they changed it or something but, uh, there should be a tether coming and should be saying uh, nobody could attack you but the tethers not here protecting us <laughs> oh there it is there's the tether Yes, tethered. Okay, maybe there's a 15 second safe time or 10 second safe time when you undock uh, in the tether. So it means uh, nobody nobody can attack you here. So you can just sit out here, you can do whatever you want here. You can go look at things and uh, you'll be safe. Then you'll be able to see, and you could watch people warp in too, right? You could see these surroundings and then you can sit here for like an hour and see warps in. Especially good at the main trading hub because it's probably a lot more active over there. But let's do a mission. So just in the agency on the left hand side, right? We go to home, agents and missions, mission agents on the left. 
security agents we're doing some of those so level one agents is pretty much all that we can do in this ship we're looking for a level one within five jumps any security so we could change that to high security and then faction caldari state corporation uh caldari navy so this will show all of the caldari navy agents within five jumps so we could even set it to within two jumps maybe they're pretty close i guess there's so many of them caldari has a lot of uh, a lot of these agents so there is one in this current system right but if you look over here there's a one two three four four of them just one jump over so maybe we could find a station with multiple agents in it so let's uh set the destination to one of them it's right you just go here set destination and then we'll go to that system just because there's four agents over there and then we can go accept uh multiple missions and then okay. run multiple missions at a time and then uh, just make sure all of your thing is reloaded, right? If you if you use some of your ammo, then reload it. And then uh, group all of your guns if you don't have them grouped. You still can move everything around. Yep. <clears throat> so then, uh, yeah, maybe we'll just dock up at the station. Then we'll come back. Oh, I realized we didn't look at the personal assets. But if you go to the left and look at personal assets now... Now there's uh, two different stations. So you can say this was your main home station, but now this will be your main home station for now. So now you actually have a home station. This is the station where you grew up in, where you were born. This is the station that you moved up to. So you're moving up in the world. So then we just docked at the station. And then uh, we're going to see what agents are here. So if you look at uh, security agents, there's uh, one, two, three of them here. Oh wow, amazing. There's actually three of them. So at this station here, yeah. wow, cool. So we could just accept three missions at a time. It's probably much better than doing distribution missions. <laughs> so then current system, and then there is another agent also in the current system. So we could even just uh, start the conversation with her, and then we could... Uh, Destroy the drone silo, then report back. Alright, so where is that sent to? Oh, it's in the same system, so we could accept that one. So our standing is 4.2 with the Caldari. And if we go chat with you, then uh, accept your mission. Destroy the infested laboratory. Oh, is this one uh, one jump away? Alright, so we could set, accept uh, another level 1 mission. So much better when there's uh, multiple agents in the one station. This is against them. Um, so make sure you're checking who it's going against, right? You don't want to do any missions against the Galante or the Minimitar. So we'll just look at those again quick. So the Sasha's Nation, they're just a pirate nation. So that's all right. We don't really care about the pirates too much. The ones we do care about is the Caldari State, the Minimitar Republic, the Amar Empire, and the Galante Federation. So if you see, uh, why is it showing zero for that? We have a... Uh, negative 062 with you guys don't do any missions against those so the pirates they're all right you could accept that mission oh it looks like she's gonna send us out of the system too all right so now we have a uh, three missions queued up so now we could undock from the station and then we could just go do all three of the missions and then we could dock up and then we could uh turn in all three of the missions so probably won't be as fast as delivery missions, considering we have to sit there and defeat things. Although if the things fall super quick, I guess maybe it would. So maybe we'll just warp through the gates and then we'll come up at the mission objective. So we should be arriving there pretty soon. Warp drive active. Oh, three eighty-eight thousand kilometers. Oh, four thousand kilometers. So destroy all enemies in the vicinity. So we just have to destroy everything. Oh, we want to switch to the antimatter, right? That's the close range. Looks like we have a newcomer, boys. Get him. So this is just a level one mission. You shouldn't have too much trouble. We 
could uh, lock on to the enemies, right? I think we have uh, four or five targets. So you're gonna start shooting us. We do have shields here. Oh, he just uh, fell in one hit. Crazy. So you can fight our rockets at one enemy. It looks like the oh, blasters, everything just does so much damage. <laughs> so the first ship they give you, it is uh, pretty decent, right? So lasers are gonna be doing good, and then your missile is going to kill that second ship. I think you just need the, just the uh, Gatling guns, that's it. So this mission is complete, so now we could uh, set the destination to the other mission. Drive active. Yeah, so basically uh, we set our destination, now we're warping to the second mission. And then the third mission was actually in the system where we accepted all of the quests, so we could do that one last. So we'll jump to the Stargate and we'll come back again. Alright, so we just uh, started warping to the next place. So the sun's going to blind you, so you have to get your ship in front of it. Oh, there we go, and now we don't have to worry about the sun blinding us. Just then going to the next objective, it should be just as simple. So, level 1 missions, they're probably pretty good. Oh, there's an acceleration gate. So, we have to, you need to activate the acceleration gate. Alright, activate the gate. And then activate the afterburner so you could burn towards the gate faster. I wonder why they start you from so far away. Well, there's probably cool things to look at. Yeah, there's always things to inspect, things to look at, right? What is this piece of debris? It's a floating piece of metal that's lost in space. Oh, and then here's the acceleration gate. Oh, there's actually some enemies that show up. Looks like we have to destroy the enemies first. The gate is locked. Enemies have shown up to protect the gate. Range within 15 kilometers, so they're going to be working their way towards us. So the antimatter charges are going to do double damage, right? Well, compared to the iron charges, they just don't have the range on them. And then I don't think it'd be worth uh, running up to these ships to loot them. We tried running up to the ships and looting them, but they don't give you anything. Same with uh, salvaging. So you don't need the afterburner on anymore. You can turn that off and then maybe hit the shield uh, once or twice to repair your shields. So now you should be able to go through the activation gate. Drive active. Here we go. Perfect. So there's only uh, three guys that showed up. These are just uh, frigate wrecks, basically. Uh, you need to destroy the infested laboratory. So we need to find the laboratory. So you just go to Collidable, right? Infested laboratory. There we go. And then we target it. So it's just in your overview here, Collidable. We removed Collidable from there, I think. So then, ah, uh, the infested factory, we can just, uh, destroy it, I guess. We do have to work towards it, because we need to be within, uh, within 9,000 kilometers. So we just hold this, and then keep our range, uh, 9,000, something around there. So you just drag it out to show how far away you want to be from there. And then we're going to have to lock on the enemies, because the enemies are going to start shooting us pretty soon. Although, if we just destroy the infested laboratory, we could just uh, go warp out, right? Because we, we don't actually have to destroy anything besides the objective. Destroy the laboratory. Alright, set the destination. So now we could jump out of here and go back home. So we don't even have to worry about those guys. Cargo container. We don't know what was in the cargo container, but that's alright. Sure, it wasn't anything too amazing, but if it was something amazing, then geez, we missed out. Although, it allows us to do a lot of missions more quicker, right? So, if you're just sitting there trying to loot every single wreck, and you're trying to salvage every wreck, um, instead, you could just do more missions. Eventually, raising your standing enough to do higher leveled missions. So, we're gonna have to do that again with uh, some of the other factions. We're just going to have to run some missions for them. Except uh, this time it will be a lot easier because we'll actually have a good ship. So we still have the one quest over here. 
So we do the drone infestation. So right here's all three of the quests that you're on. You can just click it to expand it. Uh, the mission's complete. So it says we can dock at the station in this system. Although since we accepted three missions, uh, we can't quite dock yet until we do this one. We were decently far from it, so you can see how uh, how far, how vast the distances could be depending where you are. So let me just uh, start at the acceleration gate. So I imagine we can just go through it without anyone showing up, right? Okay. Yeah, perfect. And then maybe reload all of your ammo. There we go, reload all. And then you could even like uh, split up your guns, right? we were to move the missiles down here or something, if we ungroup the guns, we could even say like, uh, that's a group of two guns, we could say, this is a group of two guns, and we could say, this is a group of two guns or something, I forgot like those three there or something, yeah, something like that, we'd say the, the first set has a set of three guns, and then we could uh, select multiple targets need to destroy the drone silo. So we just have to go to the drone silo. We could just burn right towards it. And actually, considering we only have one target, we might as well, right? Well, we'll show it. Just because uh, you can attack the enemies. Because the enemies give you bounty, right? Every enemy you destroy, they'll give you a bounty reward. 3,000, 10,000. So the bounty reward's really low on level one missions. Got the afterburners and everything activated. So maybe we want the uh, iron charges. Oh, it just reloaded for the one thing. Because so we're going to be pretty far away from the thing. So iron charges give us a range of uh, 36,000. 36 kilometers. Shoot the missile. 19 kilometers. The missile is not going to hit. We're too far away. Oh, and all these guys are walking onto us. So you can see in the missions, just basically burn towards the objective, complete the objective, return back home, complete the mission. You need to destroy, dock. So now we can actually turn in all three of them. And then like if we were locked onto three different enemies, we could uh, shoot our guns and say like, uh, this set of guns shoots the one enemy, and you say this set of guns shoots a uh, second enemy. You say uh, the third set of guns shoots a third enemy. Something like that, just to split up your targets or something. Okay, don't have to be all grouped, so it's pretty cool. So now we're back at the station. Maybe we'll just uh, turn in the quests, and then that'll be the video about uh, running level 1 missions on the ship that they give you. So you didn't even really have to buy anything, except for the guns, I guess. Maybe the shield. Maybe the overdrive things. Oh, the ship's not expensive, right? How expensive is it to fit this thing? Uh, 1.1 million. So the ship, if you need to replace it, it only costs uh, 1 million to replace this ship. So let's just turn in all three of these missions here quick. Um, so we completed the mission with you. We get a bunch of money, a bunch of loyalty points. Uh, let me complete this mission. We get uh, more money, more loyalty points. And then we complete this mission. Let me say uh, complete. We get uh, more money, more loyalty points. So how much uh, reputation did that give us with the Caldari Navy? Next video, we're just going to go do a uh, level 2 missions. So... I guess it went up uh, slightly, but you can see the reputation gains, they started going down again because we're doing level 1 missions. And then the Sasha pirates, they hate us because of what we did. <laughs> because we destroyed the pirate ships. So there's level 1 missions. If you want to do level 1 security missions, you could do all three of these at the same time. Just go out, do the missions, and then come back again. So we'll do level 2 missions in the next video. I'll probably just get the ship ready and then run a couple while the video is rendering and uploading. And then we'll do that with the level 2 capable ship. So we already trained everything we needed to fly the ship. So the ship's really good for level 1 missions to help you uh, do them really quickly. 